Are you Mike Osborne? Uh-huh. Former Sheriff Mike Osborne? You know who I am. Just making sure. Uh, my name's Jim Kent. I'm a journalist. I'm uh, here to ask you some questions. Yeah, I remember you from the phone. What? They got my past, huh? Well, ultimately, I'm looking for a reflection on your career in law enforcement, more specifically the Moore Farm. See, I'm doing a series on provincial haunts. What do you want to hear? Well, uh, we're, I'm just going to ask you a few questions. We're just going to have a conversation. All right. So, uh, what can you tell me about the Moore Farm in the year 1995? Well, in 1995, I was still the sheriff of Ward County. And then there was the Moore Farm. Well, uh, what about the Moore Farm? It was a Sunday. I was having my coffee. And Deputy Crane was reading the obituary for Kit Brown. And all of a sudden, this guy busted through the door. A.J., I think his name was. He was the editor at The Courier. And he had a bag full of Polaroids. And the first one I looked at, it just bloated horse, just laying there, right there on the street. The farm was way out of the way. You could smell it before we pulled up. As we left town, the air turned sour. I could see how the press got there before we did. When we pulled up, it was, there it was. What did you see? Do you believe in unfathomable terror? Pardon? As far as the farm stretched, it was mud, carcasses, where 23 of them were still living. Some were sick, but none were as sick as Paige Moore. Uh, Paige Moore, she owned the farm, yeah? I knocked on the door, forced it open, and I found her in the living room. She was just sitting there, long gone, not dead, but just staring off. That's what I saw it. No bigger than a coffee table. This woman had sculpted an idol, like, like a pyramid. that had a, a, a horse's skull on the top of it. And then I noticed she was looking at me and she closed her eyes. So, uh, so what happened? You couldn't arrest her or anything? I had Deputy Kranger in there and feed her cat food. He fed her cat food? We were left with 23 feral horses. Six were pregnant. And they all miscarried. It was just Crane and me. We sent the rest home. And then we shot those horses. You shot them dead? Uh, we shot them dead. I mean, that's definitely not what the newspapers told me. Uh, the newspaper doesn't need to know. 
Well, why would you tell them wrong? It's not up to you to spread this kind of fear. I know you're a good one. I can tell you're a good one. You were recording me? Uh, yeah, just for archival purposes, uh, I recorded you. Uh, the only person that's going to hear it is me. All right, then. Thank you again for your time.